You're going to learn about people who are buried in Fairview Cemetery or their families are. We tried really hard to place the characters in each scene to be near their burial location. But I'll be honest, we were not successful. So some of them I will point out, and you're more than welcome to have one of us walk over. Some of the military people, we have torches put at their stones. Three of the people were reenacting. But you come after the tour, and we'll walk you that away. Some of the reasons are not possible. We want to keep all these tours on paved roads. And as I just said, some of these markers are located far away from the paved roads. Sometimes a person's marker cannot be located. They may have a record stating they are buried here in Fairview, but either their grave was unmarked originally or the grave marker has disappeared due to weather or vandalism. To help in locating some of these stones, there is a torch put out. And as I said, after we finish and come back up this little hill, you're welcome if you want to go see some of the people where the torches are out. First person interpretation. Some of the characters you will meet in the cemetery tonight may be doing first person interpretation of the character they are portraying. At least two of our people are doing first person interpretation. This means they're going to act like they are that person living in that person's time period. So if the actors are portraying a scene in 1892, they only talk about things that happened in the year of 1892, during the year of 1892. But they will not and they cannot talk about anything else beyond 1892 because it hasn't happened yet. First person interpretation is a lot of fun.